Successful stocks don't tell you when to sell. When you feel like bragging, it's probably time to sell. I don't want a lot of good investments, I want a few outstanding ones. Investment success does not require glamour stocks or bull markets. I've never bought a stock unless, in my view, it was on sale. The baskets start at $25 and, the sky's the limit, I've done baskets worth hundreds of dollars. At that price, they are putting in luxury items. Obsession with broad diversification, is the sure road to mediocrity. Fundamental analysis consists largely of appraising corporate performance against industry, or market benchmarks. It's not always easy to do what's not popular, but that's where you make your money. Buy stocks that look bad to less careful investors, and hang on until their real value is recognized. An awful lot of people keep a stock too long, because it gives them warm fuzzies, particularly when a contrarian stance has been vindicated. If they sell it, they lose bragging rights. Never say never in the wonderful world of stock market fluctuations. I don't read, much less follow, the valuations or predictions. I study the numbers. Most investors are great at extending straight line, that culminate in disappointment when enthusiasm wanes. I wouldn't want to get caught in a rush for the exit, much less get left behind. My kind of investing rests on three elements, character, goals, and experience. Excellent upside participation, and good protection on the downside. Buy on the cannons, and sell on the trumpets. Much has changed in the world since I became a money manager, but the underlying nature of the investment challenge is the same. Long-term investment strategies need not rest on a few very risky glamour stocks. When better to write a book, about out of favor investing, than when it's out of favor? <laughs>